everyone, my name is Mia and this is my virtual vanity, a place where we both love makeup and we're quite critical of it and today I'm taking you on a tour of my actual vanity as well as an inventory of honestly too much makeup for one face but conscious consumerism and conscious makeup consumption is a, um, a journey, okay? It's a journey, it's a process. Let's get started, yeah? As you can see I've got like a circular type of setup. I like having this space free so I can actually pull out everything that I use. I like to pull out everything at the same time and not just open drawers, put them up, back in, whatever. In this corner, I've got this little thing that I thrifted and that I plan to use for flat lays. And I keep here just some nail polishes, some perfume, my uh, engagement ring. I don't wear it at home because every time it snags, I swear to fucking God, I lose 10 years of my life st lifespan from the stress. In this little area over here, I've got these pearly accessories. I'm gonna, I'm gonna admit, I just keep them because they're cute over there. Concealer, some corrector, stuff like that in that area over there. These were also thrifted and they're so goddamn cute. Here we've got my drawing mannequin, which serves as both drawing aid as well as it holds necklaces, including some of my Ana Luisa jewelry. I've got a code with them. If you're interested in their jewelry, I'm just gonna write it down here, not sponsored. Over here, we've got a little bit of a display thing going on. I've got my foundations. I've got some lipsticks that look really, really cute. The prettiest powder in my collection by Zessi. Some primers that fit better upright rather than laying down. In this letter type organizer, I've got some decorative cards. Um, I use these. I use these a lot when I do flat lays just because they're pretty. Uh, this I got from like the Science Museum in London, I think, and this came with the Nabla Dreamy 2 palette. My friend, the Snowy Owl, they, they judge my makeup application every time. Brushes, these are only face brushes. I keep my, um, my eye brushes separately in this other area. So in this thing that was actually like a, a jar or something, and in this one that I got from Karturesht in, Bucure in Bucharest. In here I just keep some jewelry. Then we've got the skull, my friend. I have a I have a thing for skulls, okay? And this one is the prettiest, just absolutely the prettiest memento mori that I have ever found with like the flowers and the gold foil. Just brings me joy looking at it. And it sits next to this bird necklace organizer, which again, thrifted. I love thrifting for pretty stuff. Partially my perfume collection over here, as well as some samples that I'm trying to get through. Keep seasonal perfumes over here, and then perfumes that are off season. So now it's winter, winter perfumes sit here. Summer perfumes are in the library. Still in the upstairs area of the vanity, I've got these three acrylic organizers. In this one, I keep face products. So cream blush and cream highlighter, bronzer and primer, eye primer I mean, more bronzers. These other two, they hold highlighters and powders and face primers. So face primers over here, highlighters over here. Then I've got powders in this lower drawer and some miscellaneous stuff. So some uh, liquid liners, uh, foundation that I use actually as a spot concealer and this is from Wet n Wild. Then this Dr. Jart thing that um, I'm trying to pan and just a, a mixing board for different makeup. So all in all, let's chat a little bit about how many of each thing I have from these categories that I showcased over here. Primer, I have these three, two for longevity and one that I'm experimenting just for color enhancement. I have four concealers, which honestly are too many, but two I actually use because one is too dark and one is too light, so I mix them together. Two correctors, the Becca Under Eye Corrector and the Kiko Green Corrector. I've got four bronzers in different tones and 15 total highlighters, two creams and 13 powders. 
talk primers. I've got two hydrating primers, the Catrice Prime and Fine and the Milani Camellia Oil. Three illuminating primers, VDL, Peach C, and the sample of the MAC Strobe Cream. Two all-rounders, the uh, Revolution Super Dewy and the Catrice Tensational. And two blurring primers, the Revolution Super Dewy Blurring and the Urban Decay Optical Illusion. I would say I have four products in the foundation category, but actually just two. Uh, the only foundations that I actually use are the Super Dewy Skin Tint in Light and the Shimmering Petite BB Cream from Makeup Revolution and Holika Holika respectively. The Dr. Chart Sika Pair I use as a sort of tint but only in certain areas and only when I go no makeup makeup. The uh, Wet n Wild Foundation Stick I use as a spot concealer. These two items that have no category. For me that is the Super Dewy Dewy Super Balm or whatever from Makeup Revolution. I still have no idea how the fuck to use this. And Inglot's Duraline, which is a multi-use staple. Up here I also have my Liquid Blush Collection, which is six items. These Tassi Alex ones, which I've not yet used, and they're multi-use products, not just cream blushes. Um, Glossier, Focalure, and the one surviving nude sticks item from the trio. For powders, I've got five pressed and two loose. Here we also have brow products and lip liners, pencil liners. I have two brow products, nine pencil liners, two liquid liners, and 10 lip pencils total. Let's descend to the drawer area. So the first two drawers of my, um, you know, Alex vanity thing, we've got palettes. And you may notice that I like to Tetris my palettes because I just want everything to be easily visible and accessible. If I don't see it, it doesn't exist. If we go below though, it stops being makeup. Um, I've got here just a lot of costume, jewelry, art supplies. Underneath that, I've got mascara backups, cotton rounds, all sorts of bullshit and wires. Still downstairs, again, scarves more bullshit more scarves <laughs> i've got a thing for scars and cardigans like i've got issues then here we've got a treasure trove of lipsticks setting spray nail polish and this is where i keep uh, my fancier jewelry so like the actual metal jewelry if you would i'm not gonna count nail polish they don't count in my makeup budget although i am trying to buy less of those but i do have 45 lipsticks uh, and that includes lip glosses liquid lipstick any type of lipstick you can conceive it's too much and this is after I declutter i had i um i disgust myself whatever and one lone setting spray <laughs> So these little plastic organizers, they're actually Ferrero Rocher candy boxes. And I use them everywhere, they're super, super useful. And it's like, you get candy and you help the environment as well by now throwing away this like thick ass plastic. Going up another palette drawer and this time this has all of my single palettes. We are now going to talk about how many singles I have. I don't have the time or the willpower to number each eyeshadow pan individually. More power to those that can. But this is the final palette drawer. So let's talk numbers. Eyeshadow palette, small and big, total of 32. Eyeshadow pigments, we've got, oh, I forgot to number those. So 16 pigments, uh, loose pigments, I mean. Upstairs again, we've got blushes and I'm going to tell the number from January. Now it's February. I've actually bought one blush for February. So I've got six liquid blushes mentioned before and 19 powder ones without this lonely friend over here. Then we've got eyeshadow singles in their own packaging. These are 17 without these two that I bought in February. Then I've got one two face palette. I don't actually have anything in this box. I just think it's cute and I will use it at a certain point. It's got one of my favorite artworks on it. The, the Chat Noir poster. I just really love it. And because I'm a goblin, um, 
over here beneath the, the, the thing, I keep some shoes and my empties and in that black thing, that's where I keep my declutters before they go forward to friends, family or donations and my empties is truly overflowing, I should film soon. So yeah, this has been it, this has been my makeup organization for 2021, I will put in a, an image with the actual inventory numbers because I probably forgot something or missed something and it's just for accountability. I hope you guys enjoyed the tour and the inventory. Thank you so so much for watching. Please don't forget to have a wonderful morning, evening, second breakfast, third lunch or whatever it is you're from. Bye!